Hey, what's going on guys? Um, right now, doing a bit of cardio before the gym. Just going for a quick walk. Burn off some calories and we're about to hit the gym. But um, today's video, I want to talk about uh, religion again. <laughs> My favorite subject. Um, I've done two videos on religion. If you guys haven't watched them, go back and watch them. And there was a bit of controversy in both of them videos. You know, people telling me I'm wrong and um, people telling me, you know, I'm right. And some telling me I'm crazy and I shouldn't be saying these things because obviously I am a Muslim, which I'll get into in a minute. Um, so I want to like, I've done, basically I've done a bit of research again and I've read and I've watched things and and I've come to like a conclusion which I will talk about in this video now when it comes to religion as you guys know I was born a Muslim and I never really took the religion serious until I actually you know um, sat down and read and and met people that are from you know the same religion as me it's Islam um, and I thought this was the true religion. This is the truest religion out there. And you know, I read, I always like, I researched about like Christianity, because my father was a Christian, and I researched about Catholics and all these things. And I, you know, I know there's a lot of contradiction, you know, in, in like their religions and stuff, so I didn't really touch it. But I always looked at other religions to find which one was the right one, and Islam just made more sense to me. But there's one, there's one set of people that I never really researched, and um, and I kind of left it out because I thought they were crazy, and that's atheists. Um, you know, atheism. I don't even like to call them that really because they they don't believe in anything. So why do they need to have a name? But it was atheists, and uh, and I always just thought they're crazy. You know, how can something come from nothing? You know, they're absolutely stupid. You know. Um, and the more research I've been doing the last sort of few weeks, the more, I know it's gonna sound really mad, but the more they make more sense to me than any religion. Now don't get me wrong, like uh, there's good things in religion, a lot of good stuff comes out of religion, you know, it tells you you shouldn't eat pork and you shouldn't commit murders and theft and all that. So, you know, it, it's all there, you know, um, for us to live by or whatever. Um, but their sort of understanding to everything really, really has like interest me. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I'm an atheist, but as of right now, now the research I've done has made me look at religion like in a whole new light. I do believe in God, don't get me wrong, I do believe in God, but I just think there's things that need to be answered, and I don't want to class myself as just a Muslim when I'm, when I'm like not agreeing with a lot of it. Because if you notice in my other videos, I was not agreeing with a lot of the things that were in the Quran. How can I be a Muslim but not agree with them things? It's, you know, it's very contradictive. So, um, I'll tell you what happened. The other day, I was walking and I saw a friend of mine that when I used to go to the mosque, I used to see him, and he said, "What's going on with the faith? I haven't seen you coming to pray and all this kind of stuff." I said, and you know, I told him last few weeks I've been doing a bit of research, you know, and and my mind is like all over the place with like religion and all this stuff at the moment. I said, "He goes, go and talk to me." So we had a conversation, and as I thought, he couldn't really answer what I was trying to you know what I was saying he was kind of going around it and I'll and I'll explain so the first question I put to him was um, okay look if God Allah is all, all seeing all knowing merciful uh, everything why do bad things happen to the most innocent people in this world like why is there wars why is there famine why is there people starving going hungry why is there you know viruses why is there killings why are innocent children being raped and fucking killed in these third world countries why are why are innocent children being born into these abusive parents that don't give a fuck about them that hurt them torture them kill them all these things and he couldn't really give me an answer he kind of like only touched on the children thing where i said why do babies you know you hear about babies being raped and killed which is disgusting like what the fuck are these people thinking but you hear about this stuff you know and it only makes you it, you have to think what the fuck so i said to him what is that about 
and he couldn't really answer all he said was about like babies and children he goes god basically has knows everything that's going to happen in this world and what happens is like children for example he knows that they're probably going to grow up to become like murderers or killers and things like this so what he does is he puts a stop to that um, straight away like by basically ending their lives and things like that and i was like <laughs> right that's the best response you've got like oh i said okay all right okay i said all right but i didn't want to i didn't want to argue with him because i knew like you know like we'll just be here all day but in that scenario like if god knows this then why would he give them life anyway what was what's the point like what the fuck is the point okay so that's one thing that couldn't be answered the second thing i asked was i wrote some i wrote them down actually you know my trusted phone hang on a minute i got them here because i want to remember everything that we talked about so uh if god loves us all if god loves us all and you know where he is all forgiving and he you know and, and, and it's in religion everywhere god loves us god loves his his he calls us slaves in islam god loves us um if god loves us then how come if we don't believe or anything or if we don't believe for example if we don't believe what will happen is well we don't worship him we are basically going to go to hell for eternity for forever but he loves us okay let's look at that for example if you don't worship if you don't worship god like if you don't understand if like how i am right now and there's many other people out there like atheist like atheist people like they they just don't understand they how can i put it atheist people don't understand like how can god just be there which is something that i have come to understand like you know like when religious people say atheist people are crazy because something couldn't have come from nothing there had to be a, um there had to be someone that made the universe you know the uh, and all this kind of stuff so atheists they say atheists are crazy because they believe in like the big bang and evolution all that kind of stuff um the same can be said about god like all right if that's the case where did god come from where did God come from? And all that you get from religious people is, oh, he was just there. Like, he's always been there. What? He's always just been there. But how do you know? Like, how do you know scientifically? Scientifically, how do you know God has always just been there? Like, what? Was he just chilling and then one day thought, I'm going to make the world? And don't get me wrong, I do believe in God. I'm sounding like contradictive right now. Do you know what i tell you what my head is just because of i've had like information overload the last few weeks on religion and god and all these you know these different reasons and all this kind of stuff but yeah so like atheists believe this kind of thing um i forgot what i was talking about hang on let me go back to it what was we talking about because i was bambling on let's go back to it um yeah so if god loves us all then why do some why does it say that people that don't believe or don't have faith go to hell for eternity if you're like like me or like an atheist person that just doesn't understand where did god come from can't come to terms with you know like just worshiping god but inside knowing you know inside being faked with themselves knowing is there even a god like questioning it you can't question if there's a god but sit there and pray and try and you know and try and front like you friggin like you do believe because if there is a god up there he's gonna know you're fucking lying it's not genuine you know so why and you know these people so a lot of these but every all most of these people like they live good lives you know they they're nice they're nice to people they don't cause any trouble how come they're gonna go to hell for eternity you know so you have to answer that and that was one thing that he couldn't answer either um so the next one was uh, the big one for me and and this one can't really be answered it's like i literally can't find an answer anywhere for this one but we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll explain it um so why is there i asked my friend why is there so many fucking religions out there why are there so many religions um put it like this 
you're always born into the right religion isn't that weird like it's just weird how can you be born into the right religion like all right look look at this if you're born in america or the uk you're probably going to be a christian if you're born in i don't know like i think it's hong kong or somewhere you'll be a buddhist uh if you're born in an Pakistan you'll be a Muslim um, if you're born in India you'll be a Hindu or a Sikh like look at that why is every single how come every single place on this planet has got a different religion and it's always the right religion you know they, theirs religion is the right religion like why couldn't everyone just worship God and that's it like why is there got to be all these different religions and all these different gods like and and one thing that i know i'm not too sure about other religions but i know in islam it says if you worship anyone else but allah which is just god then you're going to hell for eternity this hell in it for eternity thing keeps popping up um then you'll go hell for eternity you'll go hell for eternity because you don't worship god but just god you you like okay so how come how can you explain to a how can you explain to like Buddhists and Hindus and Sikhs and Jews? How can you explain to them that, look, what you're worshipping is wrong. It's completely wrong and you're going to go to hell. They'll say to you, well, mate, what you're worshipping is wrong and you'll go to hell. Like, can you, you know what I'm saying? Like how, it just doesn't, for me, that doesn't make sense. Like, how come we can't all just worship God? Why is there got to be religion? Why is that the middle man is the religion, yeah? So that one, he goes, my friend said to me, oh, it's to do with paganism. And uh, there, all these people are wrong. And uh, I said, all right. So he couldn't really answer that. There was something else, I'll write this down. Let me, there was something else that I did ask. Let me have a look. Trust me, man, this, this thing here, man, is like, literally, I've been, from morning till night, I've just been doing my research on it. It's like the most interesting thing to ever fucking research, like, um, Let's have a look. This there was a quote. There was a quote on one of the forums online about religion. You know about atheists and all this kind of thing. And it said, um, "Atheist people are crazy because they have nothing to die for. Like when they believe, when you die, that's it. Life is done. So they have nothing to die for." And there was a quote that came up and when i read it i was like wow like that is fucking crazy um i said atheists may not have anything to die for but they have everything to live for like wow look at that like they they live every day like doing as much as possible as they can because you never know when their time is up you know and i just think that's fucking crazy man like I've fucking, you know, I've rambled on a little bit in this video, but you know, I've done my research and stuff, and I just feel like at this present time, after doing all this research, I don't really want to be classed as just a Muslim. I want to be like a person that just worships God, and that's it. Like, there's so many things that are like, I don't know, man, like, you know, like, there's so many things that are unexplained in religion and I think like before I think if you are like a pious person a you know a person that believes in God and you know you've got a high amount of faith I think you need to like answer some questions like and, and really like understand like you know like the whole thing about God like don't get me wrong I do believe there is a God but atheists and stuff may, do make a, they do make a good point you can't lie even if you pray 7 15 times a day you can't lie they have got wicked points man like like they they believe like okay like there's a god in the sky that made everything that's fine like but where's like the scientific proof you can't just say like it's in a book and that's it like where's the scientific proof everything has to have proof you know there's not really like and i know i remember like i don't know you need to have evidence man like but there's not even evidence of evolution though that's the thing like with atheists like they think it's evolution made everything but there's no proof of that no one could be certain of that either so no one can be certain there is a god in the sky and no one can be certain of evolution i believe there is a god in the sky because i believe there's a god in the sky because of like things that have happened in my life and like I don't know really man I just like there's things that have happened in my life and when I've prayed I've felt better and 
like there's someone listening up there and but then again you know it could be like you know as they say you know positive thinking and all that you know law of attraction you know and you know people go pray you know they pray for things like someone might you know might be having a bad day so they'll go and pray and it'll make them feel a bit better about life but that's just like changing your mindset I, we could be here all day i don't know some of the questions in this video i think like a few guys i don't know like i don't want to offend anyone you know obviously i don't want to offend no one man like it's just things that need to be answered really like if you're a religious person you should be able to answer all these questions um like and the, you know like people say like in the quran there's no contradictions but like, there's not absolutely any contradictions but i done my research and there actually is contradictions in the quran as well so like what is the truth what is the fucking what is the truth who knows what is the truth man do you know so, they just need to be answered man there's probably things i'm missing at the moment like because i'm trying to I'm walking i'm trying to think have i missed other points out but i don't know man yeah and there was one thing like you know like in islam they say like you're not meant to drink alcohol and stuff but there's actually like chapters in the quran where the prophet muhammad actually has drank wine he drank wine like they talk about drinking wine in the quran and like i'll put a link in the description actually because i'll be here all day talking about that as well but i'll put the link in the description about alcohol and and islam as well why it's not actually prohibited which I thought was amazing. Like I actually thought like Islam like is ruled out completely, but it's actually not. I don't know, man. Like I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't offend anyone in any way. But if you guys, you know, like can challenge anything that I was saying in this video, give, give me a comment and stuff, man. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.